Hello, my name is Jason Kunst. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Identity Services Engine. This presentation is focused around easy and quick setup for guests BYOD and secure access. Today, I will be bringing you through our wireless setup tool in ICE 2.2 and focus on the hotspot flow configuration. The wireless setup tool allows you to quickly configure your wireless flows in a matter of minutes. The, wizard, the wireless setup flows in ICE 2.2 allow you to get ICE and wireless controller up and running quickly with any necessary configuration along with basic customization and setting needed for your organization's guest and BYOD use cases. For guest access, there are three types of flows. Today we'll be focusing on Hotspot, which is a simple portal such as accessing at your local coffee shop. Now let's get into using the tool. After you've logged into ICE, in the upper right you can see here the wireless setup. We'll click on that to bring us into the tool. So now we're running through the hotspot flow setup. We choose guest access, hotspot. We're going to register our, our wireless controller with the needed settings to configure and set up a radius between ICE and the WLC. Click register. Our WLC is configured, registered, and enabled, ready to go. And click Next. Here we'll set up our wireless LAN with a name called My Hotspot. This will be used when configuring ICE um, as well for the authorization policies and profiles. We'll choose our interface on the wireless controller. I have one set up already for guest. And then finally, once our, our user goes through the hotspot, we're going to redirect them to a success page when they're done. Click Add. Now our wireless LAN is ready to go, registered and enabled. Next, I'm going to choose an access control list to use um, when, I f when I get final access. Okay, since I have one that's not configured, I'll go ahead and create one with the tool. And this is simply to give our guests access to the internet, but block them from getting to internal resources. Click Next. Next we can work on customization of our portal. This portal here, can you can modify colors of your text, uh, languages and fonts, uh, page content that you, you'll need, such as an access code. Uh, and up here, you can see our different pages available. Since it's a basic hotspot, there is an, only an AUP. And when we're done with that, we can go ahead and click Done. It'll submit any customizations and configurations needed. Here we have a, a link to our portal test URL, where we can go ahead and see what, it, what the desktop view would be of that portal. And this will actually work here. We can click Accept. And you can see I got my success page. Instead of having a real client, you can use that portal test feature. We'll click Next here, and we're done. That's it. We have a hotspot up and running. Now that we've configured the hotspot, we can go back to ICE and see what configuration was done in order to enable this flow. Now we go under ICE, we can go under Work Centers, Guest to Access, and look at everything needed uh, for our, our hotspot flow. First, we'll look at network devices. You'll notice that the, the network access device was configured with our IP address. The network device was created by wireless setup. Under Portals and Components, we have a new hotspot portal called My Hotspot.
Under policy elements, our authorization profiles are set up for not only for redirection uh, to our portal, but also the final guest access. And then under authorization policy, we have uh, two new rules enabled to redirect to the hotspot portal. And then after it's registered to guest endpoints, it'll be given internet access. That's it on the ICE. Now we'll go over the wireless controller. We'll go to WLANs. You can see our My Hotspot is configured. Set up for MAC filtering and enabled. So we have MAC filtering here. AAA servers are mapped to this wireless LAN. And under advanced, we have allow AAA override and NAC state is enabled for radius NAC. Next, we go over to security. We can see under AAA radius authentication that our ICE server IP address is configured, also accounting. Under access control list, we have one for redirection. When you first come in to uh, the hotspot SSID, you'll be redirected to the portal. And then after you accept the AUP, you'll be, getting, you'll be given internet access. We also configure the Flex Connect ACLs if you're using Flex Connect uh, access points. That's it. Thank you for watching this video.